D Wade. Jordan, what's up? What's up? It's Corona season, so I'm not gonna shake your hand. So I figure the bow is the way to go. Uh, that's okay. I'm gonna Sound good? That. Yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? How's it going? We are here on a Thursday. This is weird. It's really weird. This is really weird. We are yeah. here on a Thursday, and we are. Tell them where we are right now. We're actually up at Saratoga. We're not in Half Moon. Uh, My home stomping ground, Saratoga. Represent. I actually needed Jordan to give me a tour earlier because I've just never. You've really never been here before. Yeah. Give you a tour. Really. It showed you everything. Uh, it took about thirty seconds because um, our building is just a tad bit smaller than Half Moon, especially with all your guys' new construction. So yeah, we are here for you guys. We are calling this Half Toga Live. We are kind of just doing this thing as we go, and uh, yeah, we're going for it. We're figuring it out. So here's the deal. You guys already know we. Uh, had the coronavirus. I mean, I don't have the coronavirus. Jordan! You have the coronavirus? I don't think I have I'm, it. I'm healthy. As far as I know. I'm definitely saying that in the actual <laughs> recording. We had the coronavirus, now we don't. Um, but no, so coronavirus is hitting. The pandemic is here. Because of that, we have canceled Sunday nights. Yes. So, we are adapting. Yeah, this and is our makeup to you guys. Yeah. We didn't have anything this past Sunday, so Jordan and I were like, hey, we want to do something, and we want to talk to you guys, and we specifically want to talk to you guys about what's going on right now in the world. Yes. Uh, we feel that it is very timely for us to come together, do a little bit of a makeup message from Sunday, and talk to you guys a little bit about fear, talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on. But before we do that, I think we kind of just want to update the people on what is going on in the world of Primetime and Saratoga Students and Grace Fellowship as a whole uh, while we're in this little season of being live online. Yeah, so being online is something that I think we're going to start to get accustomed to because yes, we're forced into it. For, at this point, the foreseeable future, this is our current reality. Mm. This is where we're stuck at is meeting together as a community online and we have some ways that we're going to go about doing that that I'm actually really excited about and Jordan's excited about. MySpace. <laughs> yes. Really excited to use MySpace. <laughs> we're taking it back. If you don't know what MySpace is... You're really not you're, missing out because it's not a thing anymore. not that old. Because... Is it still a thing? Actually, MySpace... I don't want to like diss MySpace. Is MySpace still a thing? I think it's just for music. Okay. That was what it started as. Yeah, maybe you should get back into MySpace. <laughs> maybe I will. I should get back into MySpace. I, hey, I remember the top eight. Oh top my eight gosh, on MySpace. yeah. Anyway, we're boring the people right now. We're old. Um, yeah, so we're going to be online. We're going to be doing stuff. We're doing this right now as a makeup message for you guys. And then uh, I know Saratoga students and Primetime are both also going to be doing their own Sunday night services. So you'll be hearing information from each of us on that uh, in probably the coming hours and days as far as what we're doing this Sunday night. We're planning to get together on Zoom calls for small groups and do messages and, and maybe even use YouTube again in the future. So this is pretty cool. I, I know we're excited about it. Um, anything else we got to update them on in like the intro part of this? Um, right Now Media, we can talk about. Yeah, later. yeah. Um, right Now Media is a super cool resource that Grace Fellowship actually has access to that has a ton of great devotionals, messages, books. Can I just say real quick? I feel like right now media is like the Netflix of Bible studies. That's what I've been describing it to yep. people as because if you go on their website, guys, you see like all of like their highlighted Bible studies. It looks like Netflix is like highlighted Netflix original shows and movies mm -hmm. and they have all these different categories, genres. Uh, yeah, I just feel like it's the Netflix of Bible studies. Yeah, I think that's a really good way of putting it. And it's making Bible studies cool again. Make Bible studies cool Make again. Cool again. <laughs> yes. Um, but you guys are going to get bored of TV. So when that inevitably, mm. inevitably happens, I would encourage you to go check out Right Now Media. Open up a dang Bible and... Open up a dang Bible. <laughs> and read. And we're going to be there pushing you guys towards that. We're excited about what we have coming in the works and how we're going to continue to grow throughout yeah. this process. And grow together because... Just because we can't see each other doesn't mean, mean we're not going to spend time together. And we want to hear from you guys during this time, too. So if there's anything that you guys need, I mean, we are going to be more than ever hooked in on the social medias, on Instagram, on our Facebook pages, and right here on YouTube. We want to hear you guys commenting on this. We're going to have some people standing by here right now 
interacting with you guys via uh, the laptops, and we're going to be just here in, in a community together. And it's really yeah. cool that we get to do this and still uh, have fun and adjust on the fly. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so this is going to be live on Primetime's YouTube, and it's going to be live on Grace Saratoga Students' YouTube. Ooh, tell them to subscribe. We should tell them to subscribe. You guys should go subscribe. You might be watching this video right now, and you might be wondering what is that little red box down underneath the video that says subscribe. It's so that you get notified every time we post a video. And but you guys know that. You, all YouTube. Do you, they know that? You probably know more about YouTube than we do. Am I being old right now? I, I think we're old, Jordan. I like YouTube. I'm a big YouTube guy. I like YouTube, too. Do but... you watch YouTube videos in your spare time of, like, cats chasing kids and stuff? Are you into that? No. <laughs> I feel like us just like freestyle like this is better than if we had a script. I, I think, I I think, think so this too. I think this works better. Yeah. What do you think, Ben? It's good. It's good. All right. So we are going to be diving into some scripture here. We're going to be looking at Psalm 46, mm. uh, verses one through ten. Jordan and I are both going to touch on different things a little bit. I'm a big fan of this psalm, by the way. Love this psalm. Have you ever heard the Shane and Shane song? Psalm by Psalm. So good. Not by Psalm 46. Psalm 46. By Shane and Shane. By Shane and Shane. Yes. Jesse Renault has done it in worship here before, and it is powerful. I mean, it's awesome. Have you guys ever done it at Half Moon before? I'm not sure if we have. I'd have to ask Kayla. You guys probably have. It's probably. a great, it's it's, a great it's song. Good. It's awesome. Yeah. So. Especially right now. This is such a great song for us to look at as we deal with and understand the fear and anxiety that is going on in the world right now and that we're experiencing. Yeah. So Psalm 46, 1 through 3, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. Guys, we are going through a lot right now. This is an unprecedented time for all of us, really. No matter really how old or how young you are, this is completely unprecedented. So it's really easy to be afraid. It's really easy to be anxious, to not understand what's going to happen or how we're going to come through this. But it's really important for us to look at scripture and to look at the refuge that God is for us. The word refuge, when we think of a refuge, we think of the fact that God is a place that we can go for safety. God is a place that we can go for safety and security. You guys might be stuck in your homes right now. You might be stuck and not able to go anywhere or maybe that could be the reality for you in a couple days or a couple weeks but when you think of who you find refuge in or where you find refuge it's got to be more than maybe going to school or your friends it's got to be more than even your home in this time of turmoil but it's got to be god you got to find that refuge that home that security in god because that's a promise that he gives you in where you can find security and strength. So, as D. Wayne just said, God is our refuge. And the reason why God is our refuge is because he is all-powerful. And there's an illustration that I think shows this so well. D. Wayne, have you ever heard the saying, let go and let God? You ever heard that uh, saying? Yeah. 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 So that yeah. saying is really awesome. And really what it shows is that God is in control. So if you think of those of you who are in high school now and have maybe just gotten your permit or just gotten your license recently. When you drive, you drive with two hands on the steering wheel and you are totally in control. You guys remember the old Carrie Underwood song, Jesus Take the Wheel? Jesus Take the Wheel. Oh, well, dude, it's a lot right there. I know, I'm tone deaf too. It's okay. Uh, yeah, so Jesus Take the Wheel is a great song, but really what it shows is God is in control. So instead of us being in control of our own lives, a lot of times, it's like us driving a car and we're trying to steer the car of which way to go when really sometimes we just need to let our hands fall to our sides and just let God be totally in control because he already is. So we need to surrender that over to him. And I think these verses show that so well as we're going to go into verses four through nine right now. It says, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the most high dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. 
Now, I don't know about you, but when I read those verses, that shows me how powerful God is. So we run to God as our fortress and our refuge, like D. Wayne just said. But the reason we do that is because we know that God is so powerful. God has the power to make wars cease. God has the power to command the oceans to move. God has the power to command mountains to move. God has the power to do anything he wants to do, even end the coronavirus. He is in total control, and we want to surrender to that. We know that God is in control of this time and this pandemic that we find ourselves in, in the coronavirus. So that's what we're saying is when we want to see you guys run to God as your refuge and strength and your fortress, this is what we're talking about because it is just so powerful for us to be able to run to God during these times. Well, maybe you guys hear that and maybe you're like, yeah, I know God's all powerful. I know that God is in control, but that doesn't help my anxiety. That doesn't help me calm down or relax. That doesn't help me understand why all of this is happening. But the next verse that we're going to look at here really highlights what God tells us to do. In verse 10, it says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Mm. So, like I said earlier, this is one of my favorite verses in Scripture. Because as an anxious person, I don't, I'm not still. When you're anxious, you know that your mind is always going. You're always thinking of the worst case scenario. You're always thinking about how things can go wrong. But when we look at this passage, he says, be still and know that I am God. Mm. You guys are going to have a lot of time over these next couple of weeks to be still. You guys are going to have a lot of time to spend with God because there's nothing else for you to do. <laughs> and when you are still, when you can quiet your mind, quiet that anxiety, because of the power that Jordan was talking about, because of the strength that God has, you can quiet that anxiety and know that he is God. And when you know that he's God, you know how in control he really is. Because as it says in the rest of the verse right there, I will be exalted among the nations, I will be exalted in the earth. Exalted means to be brought up, to be brought up to a higher position. Mm -hmm. And right now, our entire world is looking at this virus. Our entire world is looking at the effects that it's going to have, the devastation that it's bringing. But when we know how powerful God is, when we can be still in God's presence, we can know that God is going to be exalted. Right. And it's going to be through not only Jordan and I that God is exalted, but it's going to be through you guys. Mm -hmm. As the students of this generation who have seen nothing like this, God is going to be exalted through you. Right. And I'm excited to work with you guys through that. I know as an anxious person, this isn't easy for me, mm. but I know to take time to be still and know that he is God because I know that God is going to do so much more than I could ever imagine. And I look forward to coming out the other side uh, closer to you guys and closer to God because of this. Yeah, amen. I think, I think what D. Wayne's hitting on here is so important is us really running to God as the refuge and strength during this time, and we're going to come out stronger because of it. And I think one of the main ways we do that as we do run to God as our shelter and our fortress is through prayer, right? Mm -hmm. Prayer is just so big during this time. Asking your small group leaders via text or via the Zoom calls that we do later this weekend in your small groups, like asking for prayer and then praying together is so important. So, Dwayne, do you think we should just pray right now? I think that'd be a really I think we should cool pray. thing. We should pray. Yeah. So why don't I just lead us in a quick little prayer? And then we'll get on to some other stuff, huh? Let's do it. Sounds good. God, we just pray right now uh, just over this whole situation. God, we know that you are uh, the Lord of all the earth. God, you are the Lord over the heavens and the earth. God, you are the Lord over the oceans, the mountains. God, you are over wars. You are over pandemics and you are over uh, diseases and, and just um, all the tough things that go on in our life. God, we know that you are in control. We know that you are so powerful that none of this stuff catches you by surprise. So God, I just want to pray for all of our students right now at our different locations. Um, God, specifically at Primetime and Saratoga students, God, that you would help these students right now. If they are feeling anxious, if they are feeling fearful or worried, God, help them to know 
that they can run to you during this time and that you will be their refuge and their strength. God, you will be a fortress to them during this tough time. So God, we just ask that uh, you would be with us, that you would help us to come out stronger on the other end of this. Keep us safe and keep us healthy during these next few days and weeks. God, we love you and we praise you and we ask this in your name. Amen. 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 Awesome. Cool. So, D. Wayne, do we have something fun to do right now? Yeah, Jordan, what would a uh, youth group be like if there wasn't a game? I don't know. I tell you what, I don't want to be a part of that youth group. If there's not a game, I'm not in. Do you guys feel the same way? I think they do. And even though you guys aren't here, Jordan and I are going to participate in a little game of our own. Yeah, we just kind of want to entertain you guys during this time. Yeah, I think so. So, um, Jordan introduced me to this game. Uh, it's a relative classic. Uh, let, me, let me preface this real quick. It's a Saratoga student's favorite. And because you guys are up here in Saratoga this afternoon, this evening, I want to show you this game. So this game we played uh, back at the beginning of the school year with one of our favorite adult leaders, Dave Klein. And he crushed it. He was a total champ. Actually, he wasn't a champ because he lost, and I beat him every round in this game. So what this is, is Rock, Paper, Scissors, Water Edition. D. Wayne, this is how this is going to work. We are going to do a quick round of Rock, Paper, Scissors, Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot. If you win, you pick up one of these cups of water on the ground, and you are going to splash it in my face. Very good. It is totally for pure entertainment for these guys. If I win rock, paper, scissors, I am going to splash it in your face. We're going to do best of three. So even if like the one person wins the first two, they would win the best of three. But we're still the third cup here. So I think we should just do it anyway. We're just going to do three enough. rounds here. One person will win. One will lose. What would youth group be without a game in winners and losers? Yep. Right? Exactly. Awesome. So let's do this. Are you ready? I think so. All right. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ooh. That's you. That's me. All right. Oh, man. Dave Klein is probably loving this right now. All right. Here right. we go. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's wet. Oh, man. That was, way, oh. that was way more water than I expected. That was more water than I expected, too. Okay, round two. All right. Here you go. You ready? Yep. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Why did I think <laughs> I should do scissors twice in a row? This is terrible. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so, oh my goodness, I'm soaked. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> gosh, I need to win this one. <laughs> All right, here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes! Oh, finally, redemption. Here we go. Uh, this cup has like the least amount of water. Do you want to take your glasses off? Yeah, I'm going to just yeah, take those guys off. Okay, yeah, take your hat off too. Everyone needs to see your shiny head. Okay, are you ready? Oh! I didn't even get your eyes. Oh, look at that. There we I go. I got most of your face. I think you drank half that. <laughs> so. Awesome. So, there we go. Cool. There we go. Uh, anything else you want to tell the people before we go offline? Uh, be on the lookout for other things we have coming down the pipeline. We're going yes. to be looking at doing interactive games with you, so it's not just... Mm people here on stage, but we're going to be doing things with you guys too. So be on the lookout. We want to give things away. We want to spend time with you. Everything. We're next, excited. Next few games will definitely be interactive for sure. Uh, be ready for if you're primetime or Saratoga students, uh, your Sunday night service is coming up. It's yeah. only three days away. Yep. So be ready for that. Look out for a Zoom link. Thing. How are you guys sending out your Zoom link? Are you going to email? Yeah, we're, we're, we're making plans, but we're looking at having... Uh, stuff on YouTube and then also yep. putting out a Zoom link for our small groups. So be on yep. the lookout for that. Definitely stay glued to social media. I'm going to be contacting you guys. Uh, if I don't have your email, give me your email. Drop then. it in the comments. Drop it in the comments, right? Maybe not. No, maybe, maybe, maybe public. Maybe, maybe not that. Maybe not. Yeah. Uh, why don't you just email Dwayne? Email me. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. And same here. If you want to give your email to me so I can get you on a pair of email, please do that. Uh, only other thing I would say is Enjoy your quarantine. Enjoy your yeah. time. And uh, D. Wayne, this was fun. I'm looking forward to doing it again. It was good. Let's yeah. bow. We can't touch. Perfect. All right. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Yeah.